Hi again everyone, this is David with my latest video on Flames of War. Last time I talked about my 3rd Armour Division tank company, it looked slightly different. After some battle experience, I've changed my company's layout to be more tank oriented and less uh, diversified. So, without further ado, this is my 1650 point American tank company. Starting at the front here, is the company headquarters of two Sherman M4 tanks. Immediately behind them are three platoons of Sherman M4s, all 75mm uh, equipped tanks. Confident trained for a total, excuse me, a total of uh, 14 tanks, medium tanks. And the concept of employment for these I see is for, well, what the Americans used tanks for throughout the war, and that is for supporting the infantry. Which brings me to the one sole platoon of infantry I have here. Over from the 4th Infantry Division, a platoon of nine infantry stands, a bazooka, and a headquarters, which you can see right here. And they're the ones that hold ground for those rare occasions I actually have to hold objectives, and also to help dig enemy infantry out of theirs. But what about the enemy tanks? Well, I have to deal with them in a certain way, almost like the Americans did using my tank destroyer platoon that I have here. Instead of the two tank destroyers that I had previously, now I have four on the table able to bring them into force. M10s, very lightly armored, but led into position by their M20 utility scout cars and the command jeep. The idea, of course, is to bring the tank destroyers into position where I can flank the enemy tanks and hopefully get some good shots. Using their anti-tank value of 12, out of ambush, to hopefully render some damage. Of course I have other combat support elements as well. Up front here, in the process of being painted, we can see the reconnaissance platoon consisting of the headquarters and two recce patrols each in jeeps. With the headquarters you can see here the headquarters itself plus another bazooka team. Finally, I have the battery of four 105 millimeter howitzers with uh, the Foo Party, or the Ford Observing Officer, the OP Party, the Observers, Staff Team, which allows me to do things like maintain my ranged in, get time on target, and so forth, along with my headquarters. One thing you see missing here is the anti-aircraft, um, self-propelled anti-aircraft guns. It's a bit of a risk, but what I found is that with all these vehicles having anti-aircraft 50 calibers, along with the jeeps and the half track and all of these vehicles here that are very very well covered so if the enemy does have aircraft which is a rarity in late war in, in uh, western europe i can deal with it or i can at least make it a managed risk so all that to being said is my last part to talk about is this guy right here is lafayette pool the wise ones among you will notice that he is actually modeled as uh, the British tanks that I have in there right now. My Americans are on order for the M4 Shermans, but basically they're sitting in right now as proxies for them. And there's a number of things I have to tidy up. For example, a number of these forces are uh, you know, with improvised armor, as you can see here, the Cullen devices and so forth. A little bit of adjusting I have to do from time forward, but when I play a player, we'll be able to sort that out. So, there's my German force. Correction, my German killing force, the American tank company from the 3rd Armored Division. Late war. 1,650 points. I look forward to your comments, and thanks again.